Well, we want to bring it on with your email questions right now. Pat, this first one comes from Marie who says, would you please address the commandment, thou shalt not bear false witness? If we state anything that's not true is a lie, then we're all in trouble. Some untruths are mean and harmful, but some untruths are meant to spare feelings, such as, yes, that casserole was delicious, or that suit looks great Hi. on you. Uh, Marie, uh, you have overstated the commandment. Uh, the first thing they're talking about, there shall not bear false witness, that has to do with the legal trial where you go to trial and <clears throat> you've got a guy on the dock maybe facing a life sentence and you go to court and swear uh, that you saw him shoot the uh, deceased when you didn't. That, that's false, bearing false witness. That's where it came from. Now, you can also bear false witness if you sign a document, for example, a bank. You do a bank loan and you swear that your income is $500,000 when actually it's twenty. dollars uh, you, you know, that, that's false witness. But it's that kind of a thing. It isn't telling a lie. It, it's, it's false witness against somebody else. You, you're, it is a slander against another person that will do them damage. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, what else you hey, This is Kylie who says, Pat, is it okay to name your child after Jesus? I don't see why not. There's so many they, Hispanics they named his, yeah. Jesus. I, mean, there's a, I was going to say yeah, I, I, I don't do. know anything about it. All right, what? This is <clears throat> Pete who says, Romans 9:13. Jacob I loved, but Esau I hate. God tells us to love everyone. I don't understand why he said he hated Esau. Well, I think you have to understand that uh, uh, he didn't not love Esau, but what, what he, 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 the comparison was that he, he so favored Jacob because of Jacob's and the allegiance to him that what it seemed like his relation to Esau was like hatred in comparison. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I think that that's a, an extreme statement and it has to be again taken in context. Right. Okay, this is Jason who says, I've been married for a few years now and have only been intimate with my wife a handful of times. Lately, she has no interest in the bedroom, even though she flirts with me all the time. I believe the Bible says withholding sex is wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, well, it's what it's, the Apostle Paul said, do not deny one another uh, uh, except for a period of fasting and then come back together again that you be not tempted by the devil. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with your wife, whether she's got uh, some psychological problem, whether she was molested as a child. You can go into all that stuff, and you really need a professional to deal with her, but that is a problem. I mean, she really wants intimacy because she's flirting with you. She wants to, to, to be attractive, to be and, attractive have be... and to have you take advantage, uh, to take attention uh, to her, pay your attention to her, but at the same time, she doesn't want to come together and consummate the well, well, marriage. That's grounds for divorce. I, I, I know you don't want to divorce her, but you can. Uh, that, that is grounds of law. But I would think what she needs seriously is to face whatever problem it is that took place in her childhood that has caused her this problem and, and get it get it taken care of. Well, to discuss it, it doesn't sound like they've talked about it with each other very well, openly Well, that's the problem. You've got, you've got to have open communication. Yeah. Okay, this is Mason who says, I was wondering what you and Terry are whispering about when you're praying. When I pray with you, I hear whispers coming from the opposite well, person who's praying. The other person is just agreeing in prayer and saying, mm -hmm. yes, Lord, answer his prayer or something. That, that's it. What mm -hmm. else? This is a viewer who says, hey, Pat, how would you approach witnessing to a Satanist? What can I use to prove to him that he's being deceived? What specific evidence can I use for this? I take the scripture that said it's appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment. It's in Hebrews. And look, it's appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment. Don't argue anymore. Just say that's the way it's yeah. going to be. This is Valerie who says, on the show you answered a question regarding Mary having other children and Jesus having brothers and sisters. I'm Catholic and one of Mary's titles is Ever Virgin. How can this be if Mary had other children? I know that all things are possible with the Lord, but now I'm confused. Well, if the Bible is the sole source of faith and practice, then the Bible says in Matthew 12, 46, Luke 8, 19, Mark, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 331, uh, while he was talking, his mother and brothers showed up, and he said, your mother and brothers. Now, people say, well, brothers really means cousins, but it doesn't. And later on, uh, <clears throat> uh, the apostle Paul said, well, uh, I didn't, uh, in Acts, uh, 
his brothers and mother are described as praying with the disciples. They are in this Acts uh, uh, one fourteen said the women included Jesus, Mary, and his brothers, and. Uh, we have something about James that was only uh, 15 days, and that those days um, the uh, word except uh, our master's brother James, I saw no other apostles. That's Galatians 1:19. Uh, <clears throat> James was the brother of Jesus. He had Mary had children. The Bible says that they they waited until after he was uh, appropriately. Uh, brought into the covenant, and then they, they resume marital relations. This doctrine, I, I don't mean to insult our dear friends, and I, I really don't mean to cause problem, but if you take the Bible, there's no question that Mary had children. Mm -hmm. We do not have perpetual virginity of Mary. That, that is a, a later doctrine of the Catholic Church. It is not Part of what the Bible says. Meant to honor her, but not accurate. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, the assumption of the virgin, she got lifted up in heaven, all these things, uh, the, the, you don't find that in the Bible. So, but the Bible makes clear over and over again that there, there was a family, that Mary and Joseph were married couples and they had children. Mm -hmm. Period. I'm, okay. Okay. Thank the, you for the questions. Uh, thank you for the answer.